This video documents densification of concrete to maximize surface uniformity and light reflection. Polished concrete is made reflective by a mechanical and chemical process. It includes diamond abrasives and a liquid hardener. The diamonds are used to mechanically refine the surface and the hardener is responsible for fusing loose aggregates into a durable matrix. In pursuit of creating that durable matrix, a common obstacle is concrete's porosity. This can range from sand, cement, and aggregate absorbency, as well as the microscopic spaces between each. If any of these surface cavities are not filled, reflective clarity will be reduced. The floor will also be less abrasion resistant. The attempt here is to rely upon the densifier alone to fill this slab's porosity. It's done with the intent of saturating the sand, cement, and aggregates with nano-sized particles of colloidal silica. Because this densifier is made to be water-reduced, it's being mixed with 10 parts water to 1 part densifier. Mixing of the material is as simple as adding the concentrate to a bucket and then filling it with water. The application of each treatment was typical. It's liberally dumped onto the concrete and spread by broom. The overall rate of consumption is 60 square feet per gallon. This is the combined volume of all three coats. Put another way, approximately seven gallons of concentrate made approximately 70 gallons of densifier. Once allowed to absorb and dry, overnight in this case, the next step in the mechanical process begins. The final result is a floor that's free of grout but exhibits decent reflective clarity. Most of the voids created by trapped air remain, but the absorbency of the sand, cement, and aggregates has been reduced. It's a chemical treatment method to change a physical characteristic. And that's about it. Densification of concrete to maximize surface uniformity and light reflection.